What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of My Ultimate Team. This is episode number 55 and we start today's episode off by seeing that we have sold Carlos Poyol, Alex Song and also that random like BPL manager card thing there. So uh, yeah, we opened the packs in the last episode, we opened two packs and uh, as I say I didn't expect to get anything back from them but uh, there you go, we, we managed to get over a K back and that's not too bad. But um, anyway, we uh, go back into the online single match for the first game of today's episode. We're using our Inform Moreno side and uh, in Division 2 we've had three wins from Free game, so very good start. We came against this very nice five-star hundred chemistry side to start the uh, the episode off with. Uh, Courtois, Marcelo, Ramos, PK, Dani Alves, uh, Kadira, uh, Xabi Alonso, Fabregas, Sanchez, David Villa, and Inform Dos Santos playing as a centre forward in a 4-3-3 false nine. I find that quite interesting because I haven't really found too many false nine players this year. But um, very very decent La Liga side there, and uh, I've heard good things about that Dos Santos card. So I was a bit fearful, and it would actually have the first chance of the game. Uh, his shot was well saved though by Petr Cech so good chance for my opponent early on in the 19th minute a good chance for us Inform Moreno goes for a shot here it's a good save by the goalkeeper Courtois and the follow-up shot goes over the bar so still nil-nil but a couple of early chances for both sides there but uh, still scoreless as things stood However, from the goal kick, uh, he flicks the ball on, but it only comes as far as Tony Cruz. Eventually, we get the ball away, and Sammy Kadira finds Cesc Fabregas. He finds Alexis Sanchez. He plays a 1-2 with the informed Dos Santos. He's uh, got the pace to beat Gary Cahill, but his shot is well saved by Czech. And it's still 0-0 with 21 minutes on the clock with some good chances for both sides. In the 69th minute though, how about this? Dos Santos finds Fabregas and uh, Fabregas goes down the right-hand side and crosses this ball in. It's a free header for Dos Santos and he scores. But you may have noticed there, there was a second ball on the pitch and as Fabregas put the cross in there, I was I was distracted a little bit. Yes, I know, I was going to concede the goal anyway. I'm not, you know, yeah, complaining. But um, I just found it hilarious because there was a second ball on the pitch and I found it absolutely hilarious. But um, yeah, the referee should have stopped play really. So to be honest, EA, that goal shouldn't have counted. But uh, no, it was a good finish by uh, Dos Santos and that made it 1-0. But I found it hilarious that there was two balls on the pitch there. But uh, even so, uh, we did manage to go score the equalising goal in the 78th minute. Tony Cruz struck it from range and Courtois probably should have saved it, but he didn't. And it was 1-1 here. So back on level terms. And a good chance to win it in the 81st minute. Elia goes down the left-hand side. Really, really, really good chance. He swings in across towards Tony Cruz. He strikes it on the volley. But what a save that is by Courtois. So if he made a mistake for the Cruz goal, there was no uh, denying uh, that was a superb save. Great stop by Courtois. And the game does finish 1-1. So I was good to uh, get ourselves back on double terms after he scored with him to Dos Santos. I felt he was probably the better player than me, to be honest. But a balanced game was one of those things I felt it was. And I, I really do think the draw was deserved. Would he probably felt like a better player. I think the draws deserved. You saw by the stats there. So it's a point, and uh, we we don't we get the win for the first uh, game in this season. But uh, I don't mind too much because uh, as things stand, we just need two points to survive relegation, and that is my main aim really. Because this division is very very tough, as you will find out. But uh, we search for an opponent here, and I said in the previous episode, it takes ages to find opponents nowadays. I don't know what's going on, but. Um, Eventually, uh, we did manage to get ourselves into a game. I say eventually, it took a very, very long time. But uh, regards to such, we do get ourselves into this game. Here we go with the uh, the Bayern Munich badge and the uh, the kits as well. But uh, he's got a very, very decent four one two one. Uh, sorry, four five one side here, and uh, we're trying to play the match as well. And the game wouldn't let us. But he's got a very decent four five one side. Uh, he's got uh, Adler in goal, uh, back four of Alaba, Dante, Hummels, and Pichek. Uh, Gundogan is the CM. Schurder on the left, uh, Farfan on the right. Diego and Götze as the playmakers, and. Uh, Mario Gomez is the striker, so Schürrle, the one player that is not from the Bundesliga, but as he's German, he's got enough strong links around him. So, very, very decent side, but the first chance would fall to my opponent here. Gundogan finds Farfan, and he takes the lead just six minutes in. Really, really good finish by the Schalke player, I think he's Schalke player, and uh, really good finish there to make it 1-0. But just a couple of minutes after that, we had a free kick. Ben Arthur gets onto the ball and takes it around Schürrle with some nice skill. Gets onto his preferred left foot, and then fake Rabonis for Blanco, hopping the ball forward. Really nice skill by Ben Arthur. Then the fake Rabonis then the scoop turn but the shot is blocked and the follow up shot is saved so still 1-0 to my opponent <clears throat> as we look to score the equalising goal there. In the 16th minute, though, another good chance to my opponent. Diego gets on the ball and rolls it through to Mario Gomez. Unfortunately, I could not keep up with Gary Cahill. The first shot was blocked, but it came straight towards Pete Cech, and unfortunately, his right back headed the ball into the empty net, of course, because Cech was out of his goal. So, 2-0 to my opponent, and uh, unfortunately, I just was not playing very well. But in the 29th minute, we win the ball with Gary Cahill and play it through to Elia. Elia finds uh, Renteria. Nice little pass to Kabai. Kabai finds Ben Arthur. What a ball over the top towards Elia. Really nice pass 
pass and Elliot goes through, but a shot is well saved by Adler and Hummels gets the ball away. So good chance for us to get ourselves back in the game, but a superb stop by his goalkeeper and it's still 2-0. In the 83rd minute, uh, sorry, the 83rd minute, in the 35th minute here, Schmitz gets on the ball and plays it forward towards in for Moreno. First time ball over top towards Renteria and it's a great chance here. I almost completely messed this up trying to do something fancy, but uh, the shot was well saved by Adler, but thankfully it fell to goodbye and he did put the ball into the back of the net. So 2-1, almost completely messed up a simple chance there. We do manage to get the goal though and we are back in the game. And in the 55th minute, you see Czech get the ball out wide towards Ben Arthur. <clears throat> He stops the ball with the fake Rabona, then the heel-to-heel -heel flick, and we work our way from right to left. I was giving the ball away in this game quite a lot, so I decided to pass the ball around a bit more instead of just lumping up there. Kabai gets on the ball eventually and rolls it through towards his French colleague, Ben Arthur. Ben Arthur goes down the right-hand side, gets past Alaba, keeps on going down the right-hand side. Nice little scoop turn to get himself inside. The shot is well saved, and unfortunately the ball falls to Cruz, but his volley is well blocked, and the score is still 2-1 as things stood. But a few minutes after that, he see Gary Cahill get the ball away. It comes to Andre Schurler. Schurler finds Alaba. Alaba. Alaba strikes it. It's a good save by Czech. Then it falls to Lewandowski. It's another great save by Czech. And uh, we just managed to keep the ball away and stop my opponent from making it 2-1 here. So we're still... Uh, sorry, stop my opponent from making it 3-1. So we're still in the game, but only just. In the 65th minute, though, uh, Elliot gets onto the ball down left-hand side. Rolls it through to win for Moreno. But the strike goes wide. And I just didn't seem like I was going to be able to keep my composure and score the equalising goal. However, in the 68th minute... <clears throat> We uh, get the ball away here. Johan Kabai gets onto it. And uh, we work our way up the pitch. We've got a great chance for a two-on-two. -on -two. He rolls it through to win for Moreno. This is the chance. One-on-one. -on -one, and the finesse shot hits the post. So we just couldn't score that second goal like I felt we deserved. But a few minutes after that, you see my opponent get the ball away. Elia wins it. Finds in for Moreno. He finds Cruz. Cruz with a great free ball to Renteri. A nice pass in. This time, we do get the goal. In off the post. Renteri with the finish. And it's 2-2. Two -two. So we come from 2-0 down to score the equalising goal. But in the 80 29th minute as I was closing out the point my opponent gets on the ball. Lewandowski plays a 1-2 with Gotze. Goes through 1-1 and unfortunately puts the ball into the bottom corner. So... 3-2 and uh, sadly for us we could not hold on and get the point. Which is really frustrating as well because... <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I felt like we deserved a point in this game uh, despite the match stats saying that he had more shots than me I felt as though we did deserve a point and unfortunately we couldn't hold on and we did indeed lose the game by three goals to two and to concede it in injury time was just one of those really really frustrating things which you just can't seem to uh, do much about but uh, yeah it's, uh, it's a 3-2 loss and uh, like I said he did have more shots than me but I felt as though it was more of a balanced game really because a lot of his shots did come from outside the area and way outside the area too but uh, still we lose for the first time in the division and uh, we still need two points to survive but we've got quite a few games to go so we, we should be okay but uh, to be honest it's, it's just my main priority staying in this division because I really don't want to uh, regress and go back to division three because it's I, I just I, I really do find it difficult on this game to play seasons and uh, the one thing I don't want to do is keep getting relegated because it must be so annoying to watch me lose lots of games on the bounce but um, anyway we came against this side here uh, sporting the Liverpool home kit for the uh, third and final game of today's episode it's a 4-2-2-2 BPL side uh, Lloris, Clichy, Company, Vertonghen, Walker, Gerard and Fellaini as the CDMs, Rooney and Matter as the playmakers, and a strike partnership of Suarez and Sturridge and Brendan Rodgers as the manager. So very, very decent side. He was fearing the worst to be honest. Looked like it was going to be slicing me open quite a few times. <clears throat> but the first chance would fall in the second minute. Uh, checked goal kick found Renteria he found Johan Kabay a wonderful ball over the top found Hassan Ben Arthur a nice little scoop turn but the shot was well saved by the goalkeeper so we almost took the lead here but unfortunately we couldn't do it still 0-0 but another good chance for us in the 7th minute Renteria gets onto the ball spots the run of Elia, picks him out goes with the acrobatic kick but it's a good save by Lloris and it's still 0-0 so a couple of very good chances for us early on we just didn't take them in the 11th minute though uh, Mata gets played forward here and tries to cut it across the face of goal towards Wayne Rooney but thankfully we get the ball away Elia gets onto the ball at in, um, sorry, he finds Renteria. Renteria finds Ben Arthur. Ben Arthur gets onto the ball. Nice little elastico chop. Plays the ball free to Elia. First time ball back to Ben Arthur. Rolls it free to win for Moreno. Nice little fake shot. The shot ends up hitting the post, but it falls to Renteria. And he just about gets the ball over the line. So <coughs> it's 1-0 to us in the 14th minute and it's Renteri who gets the goal so very very nice goal there some nice passing it would have been nice for Ad Moreno finished it himself but uh, even so we get the rebound goal and it's it's 1-0 in the 45th minute though my opponent wins a penalty for this and I was kind of frustrated because I didn't think it was a penalty myself Cahill makes the challenge and I think it was on Wayne Rooney and uh, as you'll see I thought he actually won the ball but I guess you can see why it was a penalty so you, you, you say it's a, I'll say it's a penalty why not so it's a penalty to my opponent it probably was to be honest but uh, it's a penalty to my opponent Steven Gerrard would uh, stand up and 
and take it. He had a chance to score a hat-trick's worth of penalties against uh, United at Old Trafford uh, on the weekend or maybe last weekend for you guys, depending on when you're watching this video. And uh, unfortunately, he does score here a very decent penalty, which unfortunately was just one of those times where I don't get any luck. It's hit with a lot of power, but Czech dives the right way and it just seems to hit him on the hips and unfortunately goes into the back of the net, so 1-1, one, very, very frustrating penalty to concede there, but in the 78th minute here as the game is being closed out, we won a very debatable penalty of our own, so if my opponent got a penalty which was unjust, we got one as well, as I said, both penalties uh, were probably deserved penalties, but you can also make cases as to why they shouldn't have been given, so uh, penalty to us and a penalty to my opponent, we had a chance here uh, with 10 minutes to go as Info Moreno gets tripped, really, really good chance here as Lloris has to try and save a penalty from Johan Kabay, and uh, my penalty takes is not that good as you guys know my ratio is pretty like one scored in three attempts but I've been quite successful with Kabai of late and we do score this one as well Larissa's is rooted to the spot Kabai finds the top corner we make it 2-1 and we do indeed get a win so good to get a win and um, yeah I was very very pleased because I feel like we deserved it as well but uh, as always guys big thank you for watching today's video I really hope you have enjoyed it if you have enjoyed the video please leave a like so much appreciated and it really does help my channel out please excuse my throat I know I coughed a lot of times in that video but um, I'm not feeling very well but thanks for watching leave a like if you enjoyed the video and um, yeah I will see you for the next episode of my ultimate team which is trying to become a lot more regular very soon